Come here, baby boy. Say oh. hello. Have no what? Yeah. yeah. Hello. Wait. <laughs> you said come here. Hello, everyone. It's our day off. Rockies. Yes, yesterday we watched the game and he forced my dad to watch the baseball game. Didn't force it and guess what? Rockies won. Today is our day off. We have a few things going on because I don't know if you know it already, but this summer we're going back to Japan for three months. Wait, 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 wait. I shouldn't say that now. Wait, wait. Did you just give them the news? Too soon. Too, Too soon. Yeah, we'll Sorry, we're going to Japan. We'll talk about it more later. But now we're going to the post office because I want to put some money in my account. A post account? Yeah, oh, I need money to go to Japan. Let's go to the car. Let's go. He's driving. He's been driving more. Yeah, if we go somewhere more, yeah. far and then know that it's gonna be like a hard drive, then usually I drive. But he's been driving more. Happy. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> That's little Brian driving here. Yes, you're good. If you're wondering, I decided last moment that I wanted to vlog. That's why I'm barely wearing makeup and my bra doesn't match my shirt. Wow, really? Unacceptable. Well, I don't know. People are used to like perfect YouTubers with the makeup on point and everything is like on point and then it's me like black and blue and you're supposed to say you're always beautiful you're always beautiful thank you i love summer yeah like, Sonia. it's hot and i'm always sweating but i love it imagine like, how depressed she is in winter just kidding i just feel happier in the summer even working it's easier and i never complain about the heat i mean sometimes but usually i don't ah, let's go to the post office that's so fun hey, Guys, we're still waiting. It's been 32 minutes. I predicted it would take 20. Sonia predicted 40. She might win. Honestly, it might end up taking an hour. I'll update you later. So, I won. Brian said it would take 20 minutes. I said 40. It took 45. It means that I'm definitely Italian. And you're not. Yet. <laughs> Kidding. After we were done at the post office, we went to buy Play-Doh because I don't know if you know, but I have a strange obsession for Play-Doh. I'm always playing with it, like while I'm working or doing something or talking. I love it. I have my treasure. Tony, watch out. <laughs> Let's go home. I want to tell him the story about that time that we went to the post office together. Sonia and I went to the post office, which I would compare to like the DMV of America. Like there's usually long lines. It's just kind of like no one wants to be there. The service isn't like efficient. And basically long story short, there was like this woman who was talking to the worker and all of a sudden she was like, no, fuck you. And like <laughs> screaming her head off. And I was like, Sonia, Sonia, look, this is like a fight. This is crazy. I looked around at everyone and everyone was just like, I was like, that's normal. And I was that like, happens Sonia. all the time at the post office in Italy. And Brian was shocked. Like, oh, that's a fight. Because in America, you would never see someone just be like, "fuck you" <laughs> to the person they're working with. But Italy, that didn't happen this time. Oh, you won. What did you win? Everything. What? Everything. Okay. So guys, yes, we're going back to Japan. We're leaving in two weeks. And we'll stay for three months. Mom says we're crazy. Why do you want to go there? Why not? Yeah, that's the thing. Brian and I have been working from home. This home, it is beautiful and I love it. But we're always here, always in this house. And my house is not well connected to the city center. We love it, we want to come back. But it's summer and it's hot and we want to do something. So we miss our friends in Japan. We miss Tokyo, so why not? We'll keep working. It's not like a three month long vacation. No, we'll keep working. We might as well work remotely from Tok. We're going to Japan for three months, but then we'll come back to Rome. Now, I actually have a question for you guys. I have been working on my computer all day because I teach Italian and I teach English online. Hit me up if you want some lessons. 
and also Brian and I started this new project called Italian Time so we're teaching Italian to foreigners on YouTube I'll leave the link below but yeah the problem is that I spend at least eight hours a day in front of my computer and I can't help it because it's my job lately I've been having like problems with my vision like after maybe not even too long like three hours I start having very dry eyes and I have like blurry vision and my eyes are just red and hurt I don't know what to do I I googled it and people say like after you look at your screen for 20 minutes you should look far away for 20 more minutes it's difficult because just imagine I'm having a one-on-one -on -one lesson and we're talking and after 20 minutes I'm like so tell me about your day what did you do yesterday can you conjugate this verb I can't do it can you guys give me some good advice help me for the rest of the morning, we just worked on Italian time and our lessons and YouTube channels and probably Brian played a couple of chess games, you know him. All right, let's go and eat something. Can you cook for me? Yeah, I'm gonna have pancakes, protein pancakes. You want some? No, protein. Protein pancakes. No, I'm making protein pancakes. What? I swear guys, Brian can eat the same thing every day for months. Am I right or am I wrong? Right. What have you been having? Piedina. With? Cheese. And? Salami. And? Pesto. Emilia Romagna, he loves you. Guys, after lunch, I'm gonna have to go to the dentist. I'm afraid of the dentist. So I asked Brian to come with me because whenever I go to the dentist, I need someone to come with. I don't like it. Brian wants a bite. Let's see if he's like Sonia it. is stupid. <laughs> Thank you. Google Translate. How is it? Not terrible. Oh, thank you. Not amazing. Mine is better. The piadina? Da. Mine is better. Da. Mine is better. Da. Mine is better. Da. I don't like you. Now, I know that I shouldn't before going to the dentist because you will probably see it, but my student gave me this like incredible Don't eat candy. Don't eat candy. Don't eat candy. I think it's chocolate. Just one. No. No. <laughs> Stop! It's a super good brand. No. Yes. No. Stop. <gasps> what should I start with? I'll go with you. I'll brush my teeth really good and we'll go to the dentist. <laughs> mm, we're here. We should go. Uh, let's do it. Let's see those teeth. This girl is so weird. Guys, I'm sure that like 80% of the people are afraid of the dentist. So only 80% of kids five and under are. No, no guys, just defend me, say something. I did it guys, I did it. It's done. He said that my teeth were good and that I was very good at keeping them clean. And now, I'm good for one more year, hopefully. So while Sonia was in the doctor, I was in the back room and all I get here is I was like, what the heck are they doing back there? Because he was using a tool that is like, you know, to go between your teeth. The feeling was like, oh my god, a tooth is gonna come out. So I was like, ah, 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 ah. They were laughing at me. I guess maybe it's not that normal to be afraid of the dentist. I don't know. Or people maybe are afraid of the dentist, but they don't say anything to play tough. Okay, guys, we just had an intense moment. As always, on the streets of Rome. Let's what just say nothing? that Brian doesn't like to drive in Rome. No one likes driving in Rome. My friend Christiana does. No. Driving in Rome is absolutely chaotic. He made a small mistake and like... Not even. Well, yes. He was blocking the street for some cars. If you say it like that, it sounds way worse than it is. There's three lanes. The two left lanes go straight. The right lane turns right. I was following a car that went down the right lane. I was like half in the middle lane and half on the right lane. And the car behind me literally just hold his horn down like this. The 
doesn't even hold, but he literally just held it down. And I was like, what do you want me to do? Typical, never drive in Rome. Okay, let's finish this venting moment. For the rest of the afternoon and part of the evening, we just walked around Rome. We tried to enjoy each other's company. We tried to do something fun because you know, yeah, we live together and we work from home, but it's not like we do something special every day. And yeah, of course, being with him is always special, but I think sometimes you really need to make time and to just enjoy a little aperitivo together and talk and chat. I don't know, enjoy the sun, life. I liked it. Alright guys, we had our aperitivo and now we're gonna eat a piece of pizza and then we're gonna go home. It's gonna vlog. It's gonna vlog. Thank you for watching. My teeth are clean now.